Hi, and welcome to Architect Talks. I'm Andy Sterniolo, Solutions Architect for Global Alliances. And in this series, we're taking a close look into Veeam's enterprise features. Today, we're talking about one of the most underestimated features within Veeam, Quick Backup. Snapshots can grow out of hand if not dealt with properly. So in this video, I'll show how Quick Backup can help avoid the pitfalls of poor snapshot management. Let's get to it. So how many times has this happened? So say we have an application running on a VM that needs an update. So as a precaution, if something should go wrong during the update and we would need to roll back the changes, we would take a VM or snapshot. So we take the snapshot, install successfully the update, and we're good to go. But that's where the problems can start. Sometimes VM admins forget to commit the changes of a snapshot. So now any changes made to that VM are stored within the snapshot. And as those changes happen, the snapshot grows. Well, days, weeks, or months can go by with that active snapshot, and it can eventually grow so large that it consumes all of the free space of the data store. This can cause all sorts of issues with the VMs that live on that data store. The good news is this type of scenario can be avoided by using Quick Backup. So what is Quick Backup? So it's an on-demand incremental backup of the virtual machine. So when you perform a Quick Backup, Backup and Replication creates a partial incremental restore point. So unlike a regular incremental restore point that contains the data of all the VMs in the job, a partial incremental restore point contains data only for one or more specified virtual machines. So what's going to happen if the virtual machine is in multiple backup jobs? Veeam will go down the list of jobs and see which one has the most recent restore point for this VM, and then we'll run an incremental inside that job only. And with integration of the Veeam plugin for vSphere, VM admins can take a quick backup from the vSphere console just as they are used to today with VMware snapshots. So if we take a look at our backup and replication console, you'll see we have several jobs listed. The one we're going to be focusing on today is the backup job windows. So within that backup job, we have four virtual machines, and the one we're going to be focusing on today is the test win D machine. So if we head over into inventory and locate that test win D machine in our folder list, we can then right click on that virtual machine and choose quick backup. That will cue the quick backup to begin. And from here, we can monitor the job's progress. We can also take a quick backup from the vSphere client itself. We can right click on the virtual machine, go down to backup and choose quick backup. We can monitor the status of the job through the recent tasks in the vSphere client. And finally, from Enterprise Manager, we can also take a quick backup of a virtual machine. If we go to machines, select the virtual machine we want. In this case, it's going to be a Linux box and then we choose Quick Backup. The backup has started, and we can see the backup was successful from the Backup and Replication Console. So some things to know about Quick Backup. In order to use Quick Backup, there's some things we need to keep in mind. The backup server must have a backup job configured for that particular VM. At a minimum, a full backup restore point for that VM must exist on the backup repository. The Quick Backup Restore Point only contains the changes in data since the last restore point. And in order to use the Veeam plugin for vSphere, you need to install Enterprise Manager and be running Enterprise Plus licensing. From a retention policy perspective, a partial restore point is grouped with a regular restore point. So when backup and replication needs to delete a partial restore point by retention, it waits for the next regular restore point to expire and deletes the two restore points at once. So, today we learned how Quick Backup works and how it can help you avoid snapshot related issues and downtime that could be caused by regular administrative tasks. And that is Quick Backup.
This is Architect Talks. I'm Andy Sterniolo. Thanks for watching.